those tasks that you have to fulfill in order to complete the game. Now you have to want to see what these places are supposed to look like SR388. Why in the name of God do they have gigantic vents running through them? Because I'm fairly certain while playing through Metroid 2, I did not see any gigantic vents running through the environment. It just makes you wonder. Yeah. Yes, of course. Sector 2, there's a surprise. Mm-hmm. And on to Sector 2. You know, I genuinely expected it to go 1, 2, 3, 4 the first time I played it. I was rather pleased when it sent me to Sector 4 before Sector 3. You know, a little unpredictability is always fun. Seemingly very small. No! <laughs> Give me a break. I don't know why they make such a big deal out of it, since they practically showed you it earlier on in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if you're smart enough? You don't even bleed and have to. There's only one time you ever have to truly face it. The rest of the time you can just stay out of its way. Don't worry, I'll show you that when it comes out of the way. <coughs> See, it's just holding your hand all the time. I thought the idea of the security locks was very good, because rather than the different beam doors, it means every beam will open the door and yada yada yada. For a security room, it's not that secure, let's be honest. <laughs> ah, that's classic Metro Jingle. I've said that before, haven't I? Oh well. There we go, and now the blue hatches are open. Which is a good thing, because it means you can get around, but it's a bad thing also, because the X are wandering around all the other sectors now. Who's honestly stupid enough not to think that would happen? And here we have the slightly different way of picking up items. I didn't realise the Federation knew that much about Samus, that Samus's suit, get it right, to um, be able to do that for her.
go, and into the rather lengthy section leading up to the next boss. It's always a good idea to get these ones now, because that way you don't have to come all the way back. Which can take a long time. more annoying than anything else. Understandably. Oh, this bit took me ages to work out. First time I was playing, I completely could not work that out. I mean, it's not immediately obvious, if you ask me. I don't know, maybe I was just stupid at that then. I mean, what, several years ago. break. I know it's randomized, but... And another one. Let's do it, just wait for it to reveal its very obvious weakness. It's usually not a good idea to actually get caught under there. <laughs> For obvious reasons. <laughs> Just hopping backwards and forwards, and it will eventually do that. I was rather surprised that you get both the high jump and the jump ball in the same uh, one. Because it doesn't seem really likely that you should. Because usually they're separate. But this is the only game where you get them both at the same time. Still, whatever. Nintendo's choice. 